this will not be a simple fake fragrances series episode this will be a real versus fake yes now that's a big difference be aware of the fact that fakes come in different shapes and sizes the one i got for you today comes in the form of a demonstration tester first thing that i will do is the scale weighing so let's start off with the real one so the authentic weighs 617 grams and the fake weighs 379 grams it's kind of obvious why the fake is a lot lighter than the authentic but i will get to that later before i will go into the boxes presentations you can obviously see the brand new one is sealed with a cellophane and this one does not have any cellophane this is how the this type of fakes are being sold so we're gonna take a look first at the um, at the authentic it has cellophane that's impeccable that's some impeccable packaging at the bottom we got the amouage sticker we have a very very nice gluing on the side and at the top there's something that the fakes will probably never ever have and it's this hologram hologram stamp right here with the amouage logo you can see it's a hologram before going further with the presentation i will unwrap the cellophane from the authentic so we can get on with the rest of the video if we're gonna look at the boxes straight from the front it's like the fake is only copying this portion from the authentic but what's actually missing from the fake is the bottom of the authentic and i will show you immediately what i'm talking about let's take a look at the side this is the right side this is the the left side there's a big difference here on the left side of the box and the back the back has the a really funny thing it says amawage instead of amawage what the hell crooks <clears throat> the the top now there's a big difference here also the real one has a nice quality embossing feel and the fake is printed let's take a look at the bottom the authentic is the made in uk this is the reason why the sticker is uh, still on the box the ones made in oman had the sticker on the cellophane so when you took the cellophane off you would take the sticker off as well on the oman but this is the uk this is the bottom the same thing that's happening on the top with the amouage logo it's happening here also right here in the front we got this really really nice uh, sort of embossed printing and on the fake we only have a simple print has no embossing feel on it whatsoever let's take a look inside as you all know this is how they open this is how you open the box very very nice presentation it's gorgeous one of the best i have ever seen and the fake guess what this is how you open it so kind of a very big difference here and let's take a look 
at the bottles. You can obviously see the fact that this fake has no cap. This is the classic dagger amouage cap. The fake is also the bottle is lighter in color and the printing of the amouage text is white whereas in the authentic it has a gold print with the amouage text. The fake has the amouage logo made from goldish material. This is not a print, it's like a small coin that's been stuck to the glass. This is not a print right here, this is actually metal. The fake has a sticker on that says tester not for sale. Now the differences between the caps are enormous. This is just a shitty plastic. Yeah, whatever. And this is the golden dagger magnetic cap. The magnetic cap was introduced with the UK batches. Let's take a look at the atomizers. Right here at the base, the authentic has interlude written on on the atomizer. And the fake doesn't have anything written on. Another difference between the atomizer, this one is gold in color, this right here is silver. But actually their size is sort of the same. And now a very important part. This is what I call putting my life on the line. I will spray the authentic and I will also spray the fake. The fake doesn't have a bad atomizer at all. I need to let the fake breathe. Well, drum rolls, dum 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 dum. <sighs> The fake, I gotta be honest with you, as I always am, the juice in the fake, except the opening, where you have to let the alcohol dry down, so because it's hurting your nose, the fake is really good, has a very good juice inside. Yeah, of course, the, the authentic gives you a better quality of the smell. But I gotta give it to it. The juice inside, yeah, I gotta be honest with you, the juice is very, very well done on the fake. Now, on potency, the fake seems to have the same potency as the authentic. I'm not even kidding about this, this is not a joke. Now, the fake, something that hasn't happened to me before, the fake seems to evolve a little, while the, um, the authentic still smells the same. You get the same smoky dark from the fake as well. The juice inside is very well done. The quality of the box is not the same as the authentic. The quality of the bottle is not the same as the authentic. I'm always real with you guys. The juice inside is almost exactly the same. Yeah, they probably use reverse engineering. They break down the elements and they reproduce it. Yeah, the, the fake is really good. Sorry to say it again. I've seen some good fakes, I've seen some bad fakes, but when it comes to the juice, the fake is really well done. What can I say? So this was today's episode. Real versus fake, Amouage interlude man. Until next time, take care guys, goodbye.